thought I'd do you a quick video showing you some ways that you can use the trackback feed. Um, one of the plugins that comes with the indexing tool allows you to create an RSS feed from all the trackbacks to your WordPress site. Now, the idea is that you take that RSS feed and you enter it into the indexing plugin on one of your feeder sites, one of your support sites, whatever you want to call them. But it's an RSS feed, and there is lots of stuff you can do with an RSS feed. What I'm going to do now is um, show you a tool I use. It's called RSS Bot, and it runs about thirty dollars, I think it is, and that will automate to some extent the submission of your RSS feeds. But you can also do it manually, and on the indexing tool blog, I will include a little list of places you can manually submit your RSS feed to. Um, so look, I've got this junky old site, which I'm not really doing much with, and I've got some trackbacks to it, and this is what the feed looks like. Okay, This is using the latest version, trackback feed version 1.5. So if you're watching this and you haven't downloaded 1.5, go to the members area and get the latest version of the plugin. Um, so this is what the feed looks like. Now, you can add this to your Google uh, RSS reader. I always advise you to do that because, again, it gets Google coming round. And what I'm going to show you today is I'm just going to show you RSS bot. I will do more videos showing other things to do, but um, I don't want to fill you up all at once with the wonderful world of RSS feeds. So, just copy that. This is uh, RSS bot. Fido. Put in some keywords. Losing weight doesn't have. To be hard work. Okay, that feed has been validated. Now remember, the idea is that we want to get the trackbacks all indexed. So all these So that is my article. Okay. On somebody else's site and it's got a link back to my page with an anchor text. So I want to help them get this page indexed because it helps me because that means Google will find my link. Okay? So it really is in my benefit to get these pages indexed. And we're going to do just a simple thing. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. Okay? Lots and lots of things you can be doing. Um, need to watch what I'm doing before we just click once, click submit. And there you go, you've got a huge list here of places you can submit to. There will be some, oops, captures if you use this. coming up quicker than I can type them. Remember, you don't have to use this software. You can do it manually. I just use the software because I've got quite a lot of these to do. Because um, I don't only submit RSS feeds from the trackbacks, I submit all my RSS feeds. So every time I create a site, I will take the RSS feed and put it through this bit of software. Okay, 
Now, as I said, this is just one thing you can do with this trackback feed. These validate, okay, so they are a proper, correctly put together RSS feed. So you can use them. Um, I'm going to test them to see if we can use them as content for part of a, um, a hub, from you know, a hub page. Um, test them on Squidoo. Could we put them as content into a lens? Um, pretty much anything you can do with an RSS feed, you can do with this. And I'm going to run through a few of those ideas over the next week or so. So keep looking and I will keep adding videos showing you how to do weird and wonderful things to get your trackbacks indexed, which of course if you use UAW, Unique Article Wizard, you will have lots of trackbacks to your site and you want to get them all indexed. It helps you. Okay? Thanks very much for watching.